everybody. Hello. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Out. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. Don't have too much to shout out. Um, Susie here is back from their anniversary vacation. And she stayed, they stayed, they stayed in a haunted castle in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'm jealous. And a ghost dog woke her up by jumping on the bed and touching her feet. And when she was checking in, she felt the presence of a ghost. When we, you know, finally get money and all this stuff, we're going to go traveling and we're going to have to go there because that sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty, pretty cool. Okay, my question yesterday is, are you superstitious? Give us an example. And Angie Lupus Life. I am somewhat superstitious. I do follow superstitions like salt over the shoulder, and I always say bless you when someone sneezes. Oh. Daily Rambles. I don't understand this one, Dawn, so you're going to have to uh, give us more information on this one, or if anybody else knows about this. I was stupid. Stupa. I was superstitious about flowers bringing bad luck until we moved to the country and the flowers are so pretty. So now I'm not that superstitious about flowers anymore. I never heard that one before. I never heard that one either. So what is the superstition about flowers that you've heard, Don? Let us know. Or if anybody else knows. Okay. Um, <coughs> sorry. Tresemme one. I am superstition if you superstitious if you want to call it that. I don't like to speak the unspoken words. You know when you say something and then it all falls to pieces. I don't know what that means either. No. Like if you say something's going to happen to this person and then it happens, is that what you're talking about? Give us a little more info yeah. on that one, too, Tresemme. Okay, and then Terry Johnson. I do the knock on wood thing. I can, I can step on a crack and never worry about breaking my mother's back. That superstition was always pretty silly. I have broken lots of mirrors. Maybe I'm still working off seven years of bad luck. Maybe that's our problem, too. You broken a mirror? I've broken tons of mirrors. I love black cats, so it doesn't bother me if one crosses my path. We have Ebony, who's pure black, and we have Bootsy, who's black and white, but no. Never had that superstition either. I will open an umbrella in the house and not be afraid of bad luck. I don't walk under a ladder. I just think because it's dangerous. So I guess I am superstitious on a couple of things. Yeah, a little bit of things. Some things, yeah, some things, no. And Jack Salmon was the last one. I think it could be called a belief system. I do have superstitions. I will comment about one of them. I believe that if one person does wrong to another, that kismet will hit the offender back twice as hard. Maybe not today but someday. So, kismet, karma, I think that's kind of the same thing. But yeah, I, that's one thing I definitely believe in. What about you? Do you have any superstitious superstitions that you believed in? I am not a superstitious person. However, um, having had a background in theater and, and musicals and stuff like that from college and stuff, there's a lot of traditional uh, superstitions from the theater, like you never, never say Macbeth on stage. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be bad juju. Never put your shoes uh, on the table in the dressing room. It's supposed to be really bad. Uh, you have to put a ghost light up at the end of the day 
you hear ghost light? Mm -mm. But it's, it's usually a light on a pole that they put on the middle of the stage for the ghosts. Because there's a, always a tradition that uh, theaters are haunted. I would have to say that I am not superstitious. Um, I mean, I used to be, I guess, you know, my mom's like, uh, don't, you know, don't put your shoes on the bed for this reason. I don't know why. Don't do this for that reason, you know, and all, all that kind of stuff. But I, like Jack Salmon and maybe some other people, um, Crimson Fairy, I believe was one of them. I believe in karma and what you put out there comes back to you. Okay, so the five channels that I am going to shout out tonight are Susan W. Awesome, awesome makeup cha channel. She does giveaways and all that kind of stuff. Go check her out. It's Just My Life CA, which does not stand for California. It stands for Canada. Hey. Um, <laughs> she does a lot of different things but she does cooking on her channel and she's going to be sending me a cooking video for the nibbling with the neighbors the buck stop you guys have heard me talk about Thomas and Lisa many times before Thomas actually did um, Italian meatballs for our nibbling go check out their channel they're they're an awesome couple and they don't get enough praise they don't get enough views they don't get in people need to go check them out because they are so awesome um megan an imperfect mommy um she's an awesome awesome lady funny as can be she's going through some rough times with her baby right now but go check her out she's awesome show her some support and the Bodens started a new channel called going vegan they are going completely vegan and they are filming recipes and all of that kind of stuff on their going vegan channel so go by and check that out as well my question for today is what fear would you like to overcome explain it's time for <laughs> neighborhood community <laughs> credit roll Okay, last night's question was about the movie Mirrors. And if you haven't seen it, you should see it. It's a it's pretty spooky, creepy movie. But I said what building is supposed to be in New York. Yo! So what so what building did they use for the Mayflower Mall or the Mayflower apartment store? And it turns out that about 80 to 90 percent of the movie was actually filmed in Romania. And the, the building that they used was a humongous building that was never finished called the uh, Academy of Science Building. Uh, it's in Bucharest, Romania. And those who got that right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Cole Today, Teresa May One, uh, Greg Myers, and Bambi S. Woohoo! And tonight's question is an easy one. George Romero. One of his most recent zombie films it was called Diary of the Dead, 2007. That movie had a bunch of cameos, although you never actually see them. And uh, you'd be surprised to cameo in this movie. If you've watched it, you probably didn't even notice it. But who cameoed in this movie? There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. Thumbs up. We love you very much. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. 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 And stuff. And we will see you all tomorrow.